What's up guys, Gary Dixon GTR back again and today we're on the Mazda 3 and we're going to be tackling that clunking sound that you get. So, if you watched one of our previous videos we did uh, a rear spring that was broken that was given like a metallic rattle sound when you went over bumps or uneven ground. So this one is uh, a clunking sound when you go, not necessarily when you hit a pothole, but as you go over uneven ground a bit like where a layer of the tarmac's come up and it's like mapped out. And you get like a little clunk and it just feels like um, a little knock, like sort of on the bottom of where your feet are in the car. Um, so, if it's a little knock sort of at the front, like a little clunking sound, it is these right here. And then if it's like a little clunk at the back, which is a little bit like, say it sounds like you've got something loose in your boot or your trunk, then it's the smaller ones, it's the back ones. So the back ones look like this. They're located near the rear spring. Um, I actually just got a set of four, so although it's only my front ones that are gone, I'm gonna be changing the front and the rear. The rear will be in a separate video um, if you wanna check that out. So these are the front ones. I'm gonna be swapping over. They're pretty simple to swap. Uh, it's one nut on the bottom behind there, one nut on the top there. The idea is you put a 5mm Allen key in the centre of there, 14mm span around the outside of the nut, uh, and you crack it, and then you just turn against each other to crack it off. And um, What I do is I crack it off with a bar first, and then once it starts to move and you get it a bit free, put some anti-seize around it, uh, and then you can just work it backwards and forwards these against each other to get it off. Same on the bottom. Uh, and then it's pretty much the same with the, the small back ones as well. And then the only difference with the new ones is these have the bit where you put a spanner on that side instead and then a socket on this side, which I prefer. I prefer this method. It works better, I think, um, than having to put the Allen key in there. I don't think that works that well. So I'm going to get that one off now um, and then we'll catch up when we've got the top piece off. So this is the method I was talking about, 14mm spanner, 5mm allen key. Um, I use this on the end just to give myself a bit more leverage. And then basically you work, you hold this in one position, work that way down. And then I find if the thread starts to go tight, you just work it backwards and forwards. And, and then you'll see like all the gunk and crap start coming out of the end of the thread there. And then you can just blast it off with a bit of, uh, bit of stuff. And then if you just work it backwards and forwards gently, don't try and rush it and come off all in one go, because if it goes too tight, you you run danger of rounding this off, which you don't want to do. Um, so you just literally work them backwards and forwards on those two, and then that's how that comes off. there like that that was just sat there like that so that you just leave to rest slide that at the back and uh, now I'm just cracking off the bottom one to get it so it starts to spin uh, and then I'll use the spanner and the allen key on this as well okay so now the old one's off so in terms of tools to get off obviously you need a jack wheel brace to get your wheel off axle stand to put your car up, to hold your car up you're going to need a 14 mil um, socket to crack this off and then a 14 mil spanner and a 5 mil allen key to get it all the way off same for the bottom if like me you have trouble on the bottom because my allen key just rounded off and um, what i actually did was i pulled the old one downwards popped it off to just leave the ball so if you imagine that was just left in there like that then what I did was I jammed a set of Stilsons on it in here against the floor and then I just used a socket and a big ratchet just to get this off and just wound off straight away so if you do round it off if you do round off the allen key it's not the end of the world you can just pop the ball joint off you basically just so like that one came off correctly with the allen key in the end and, and that. But you can just use some leverage to pop the end off to expo expose the ball joint. And then once the, once the ball is exposed, you can just put a pair of Stilsons on it and uh, get that off with a ratchet. So now we've got the new one. 
Let's take this out of the packaging. The only major difference between the new one is instead of having to put the Allen key in the end, you just hold it with a spanner on either side of the two flat pieces here. Um, so I think this one is a 16mm to hold spanner to hold it there, and then just a 17mm socket to whack that on. It's actually a lot simpler to put this one on than it was to take the old one off, to be honest. So I'll get this in place and then we'll catch up. Right, so the new one's in place. As you can see, so it's just loosely on. Don't forget to put this little bad boy back on. And then you just put your spanner behind here, to hold that on like so. Socket on the front, and we'll be away. So now you literally have your spanner behind the back, ratchet on the front, and you just do exactly the same as you did with the Allen key and the spanner before. You just hold this, turn this, Okay, now that's all tightened up on that end. It's all tightened up on the bottom as well. As you can see that. Um, and that is it. A case of uh, put your wheel back on, remove your axle stands, drop it back to the floor. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was useful. Like I say, if you are hearing like a clunking noise when you're going on uneven ground um, and it feels sort of like underneath where your feet are, then it's going to be your front ones. If it sounds like you've got something loose in your boot slash trunk, depending on whether you're American or UK, uh, if you feel like you've got something like rattling around or something a little bit loose in the back, but it's more like a like a thud than like a metallic, not like the spring was like a metallic metal on metal. Like when the spring was broken, it sounded more like more like that. Whereas this is more of a more of a thud. I don't know if that comes across, but you get what I mean. Anyway, hope this video helped you out, and uh, I'll see you next time.